Um, the, the challenge on this, and it's been there for a while, is throughout almost every level of government. Uh, but the big challenge has been we haven't focused our sharpened our pencils and really focused on how we can cut costs and yet still maintain services and expand. Now there are certain places we're going to have real trouble, such as transportation. There's no question, right? The new vehicles, the new cars and trucks that are going to come out in the next two or three years are going to be so much more fuel efficient. We're just not going to have, we'll barely have enough money to maintain the interstates that we have now. We're certainly not going to have time to add lanes, uh, make sure that they work more effectively or more efficiently. Within the state, when I came in four years ago, we had a billion dollar deficit, right? Everybody was screaming, we're going to have to raise the tax here, raise the tax here, just for, just for general operating funds. But this is an age of technology, right? And I'm not sure we've exhausted everything to find ways to cut costs. We went to, we went to work, and that year, we didn't come and ask to raise money or raise a reserve fund. We, cut, we made the difficult cuts, the difficult decisions, so we balanced that budget in a bipartisan fashion. We had Republicans and Democrats working together without coming anywhere near with asking taxes. So I think the trick here is to say, how do we use technology as baby boomers retire we should be able to deliver, deliver more services for less money. 